Hello, this is Mike McCloy with Twin Harbor Web Solutions. In this brief video, I'm just going to show you how user management works in Waypoint. Um, we're already logged in in the admin area here, so I'm just going to go through a couple of the quick functions that we have available. Uh, what we're going to do is go to Users and uh, drop down to List Users. This is going to show you all the users in your site. Um, if you have an e-commerce plugin, there's a button over here, Include Customers, and then it'll and then exclude customers when you turn it on and off. And um, a lot of times you'll have a lot of customers who've come to your site and they have an account and you may or may not want to manage them. So this filters them out. A lot of times that can remove, you know, potentially thousands of different accounts that you don't need to have uh, there. So um, that's that option. You'll see a list of all the accounts right here. Uh, you can click edit on any of these accounts and the add button is right here in the top right. Let's click add and just walk through the motions real quick of setting up a new account. So let's just create a sample account. Uh, we'll say that John Smith is getting an account on our website. He has an email address. We're going to fill that in. He has a company, let's say he works for Twin Harbor, so we'll put him in there. Uh, we're going to give him a password. You're going to fill that in right here. You want to confirm it, put it in twice, make sure that you got it uh, correct. This checkbox right here at the bottom uh, is optional. If you want to send this person an email explaining to them that they have an account. Um, it's going to send them an email with a copy of their password and their login information that they need. Um, also right here at the top, uh, when you're creating a new account it doesn't usually matter, but uh, it's in the edit screen as well, is um, status. And there's several different statuses here to keep track of uh, if someone's requested an account or if, if they've been denied for some reason. You can choose any of these options. The only one that allows you to actually log in is approved. So we'll leave that as approved right now. Over here on the right, we have a series of different roles, and depending on what plugins you have installed in your site, you may have some extras, uh, but these first four are the ones that uh, are default, and you'll definitely have those regardless. So, um, The most important one being site administrator. If you want to make this person an administrator, they get full access to the admin area. You can just check that box right there. Uh, just a quick overview of the others. Page administrator means that they can control all aspects of pages, um, including permissions. Page editor means they can just change the widgets on the page, any page in the site, and page viewer means they can view any page but not necessarily edit it, again, across the whole site. So um, let's say our, our sample user is an administrator. We'll click Save. And now his account is created. It sent him an email, and uh, that's all created. And you'll see here in the last login column, that's the date in which that person's logged in. His account is brand new, so he doesn't have one yet. If you want to make changes to an account, you can click Edit and make changes here. Uh, if you leave the password fields blank, it, it just leaves their password alone. Um, there is no way to actually retrieve someone's password. You can only reset it. Uh, we do that because we have a stronger hashing algorithm. When we store passwords, it makes it a little more secure. So that way you can't ever get someone's password out. Um, so if you ever want to set a new one, you just enter the password in twice, click save, and their password is changed. Um, there's also some other options which uh, we won't go over right now, but you can create groups and group your users into different options and apply roles to those groups. So uh, when you start to have more users, we have those features available as well. And that's it for user management. Thanks for watching.